What's up, people? This is your boy Mercury Ra, and this is the Mercury Says Show. First, I'd like to shout out all my haters, whether foreign or domestic. I hate you, too. And all my loved ones and all the people that ride with me, we're going to touch the sky. Keep riding. This show is, today's show is about compatibility. Compatibility for loved ones or people you just meet in general. I can start off with compatibility with significant others. You have to have compatibility. If there's no compatibility or you're not compatible whatsoever, the relationship will be null and void eventually. You need to be compatible. If you don't understand a person or overstand a person, you need to get to or or try to figure out some ways to so you can learn the person and get to know the person and this will help your relationship grow stronger and you know you could go fur- further in life with this person. If you don't if it's something that fancies them and you can't figure out why, ask them. Get to learn about it. This is common grounds for compatibility. And in turn they should do the same for you. You know what I mean? So, you know, try to, you know, pick your significant other's brain. It works. You know, trust me, I've been a victim of not doing it. I've been a victim of doing it. You know, everything has its pros and cons. But you need your compatibility. I can't stress it enough. You need co- to be compatible in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You need it. You need it. Being compatible with a family member. See, family members don't go nowhere. You can't get rid of them. So, you have to have some type of compatibility or none at all. So if there's none at all, you distance yourself from them. That doesn't mean, you know, you, you don't love them anymore or you're not thinking about them. But it's something called ancient hate. Ancient hate that you won't understand. It You know, it, it, it comes from the, the spiritual realm. And you might not understand it. So the, compatib- the ca- compatibility levels in that field, there will be none. You know, so, you know, just distance yourself from that. That's that's family members. Trust me, I've been there, I know. And, you know, I, I'm not saying it don't hurt, but it's, it's, it's real talk and it is what it is. You know, so, you know, back to, you know, jumping back to, you know, significant other. You and your significant other need compatibility. Please be compatible. I can't stress it. It's not going to work if it's not. I know people who've been married and they have no compatibility whatsoever. That's just like sitting back watching the hell show. That's like a scary movie. I don't even want to eat no popcorn. I'm fucking peeking and, and covering my eyes every all the time, you know? Don't commit yourself to anyone that you have no compati- compatibility with. That's like a tongue-twisting word. Sorry. But do not commit yourself, you know? If the person is not intriguing or engaging in trying to be compatible with you, do not commit yourself. Distance yourself. Please distance yourself because it's not going to work. I'm I'm always a, a optimist about things, but that right there, if both parties not trying to come to some type of mutual agreement, I'm the biggest pessimist it is. Because it's not going to work. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Um... We need compatibility, people. We need we're gonna need each other, and we gotta you know overstand each other. We gotta try to figure out what levels we on so we could maneuver through them. And like I said, if you can't be compatible with a person, distance yourself because it's gonna be tug of war. And I only say that because I love you, and like I said, I've been through the fire, you know, and I'm just dropping these jewels because. I feel as though they helped me, so maybe it's going to help you as well. You know, think about it. Anytime you feel with your your family, your your, your significant other, think about compatibility. Try to work some things out. Try to, you know, try to come to some type of goal, some type of grounds. Because the basis of getting along is compatibility. That's the root. That's the, the, the... the blueprint of of, of having a a healthy strong relationship in general so just 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 try to 
think about what I said and, and, and keep it in mind anytime, you know, things looking bleak and dreary, you know, you know relationship-wise, you know, a significant other or family or business partner, you know, try to think about compatibility, try to do things to be more compatible and capable of growing because it helps. Trust me, it helps. I can't, oh my God, I can't stress it enough. It helps. You know, so this episode is about compatibility. You need it, keep it. To me, it's like one of the key elements, you know, in life, period. You know, so just think about it anytime things are getting messy. So, well, in the words, I say love, peace, and happiness. Love, peace, and happiness to all humanity and love to all beings across the galaxy and the universe beyond. And I say to you, I love you, and I leave you with the words, Hotep.